Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 8 of numerical methods. So in today's class we are going to cover one small topic where we are going to solve the questions where the questions will demand to find the nth term of a given series. Okay, so here also we are going to use Newton's interpolation method to solve the question. So we might be facing question where to solve the question we have to use Newton's forward interpolation formula and Newton's backward interpolation formula both. Okay, so we will be directly going to see the questions. So here is the question number one. The question says that in a table given below, the values of y are consecutive terms of a series of which 23.6 is the sixth term. Okay, so here the sixth term is 23.6. Uh, Fine, that is given. Find the first and tenth terms of the series. So straightforward, they are asking that what is y1 and what is y10. Okay, because the values what they have given are starting from 3. Fine, x starts from 3 and then it ends at 9. But they are asking that what is y1 that means at x equals 1 what will be the value of y and at x equals 10 what will be value of y. So that is you remember that we have said that the, these questions come under extrapolation and extrapolation will also get solved under interpolation method. Okay. So how to solve this question? So the same way like how we are discussing that if I have to find y1, okay, so my method is same that I have to check that this point 1 is near to x0 or it, or it is near to xn. And what is x0 and xn? So this is your x0 and some this is your x0 and x1 and so on. So 1 is near to your x0. So 1 is near to x0. So we are going to use Newton's forward interpolation method to find y1. And 10 will be near to 9. So we are going to use Newton's backward interpolation formula to get what is my y10. Fine. So the same thing what we are saying here. So to get y1 we are going to use Newton's forward interpolation table. How to notice? Because we see that this is your upside triangle. Fine. No Newton's forward difference table and then we have written down till here this is nothing but the question as it is then we are finding out the differences everything is explained in many classes so we are just going to see that to find y1 what we are going to do we are going to use newton's forward interpolation formula and then accordingly we are going to write down all those values only one thing is not known till now is r fine no so r is x minus x naught by h and in our case, x is 1 because the point where I have to estimate the value is 1 and x0 is 3, h is 1, we got r is minus 2. And then finally, y1 is, we have just put all those values, fine. All those values we have put, we got what is my y1. So this is very easy question. And then the same way we are going to find y10, but we have to use Newton's backward interpolation formula. Fine. So for Newton's backward interpolation formula, few changes we do. We get y, we get xn, not x0. Fine. No. Then this is your yn. It is not your y0. This is your downside triangle. And r, r plus 1, r, r plus 1, r, r plus 2. These few changes we have to make. And then we will get the formula of Newton's backward interpolation. Fine. And then we got our r. r will be what? Instead of x minus x naught, it will be x minus x n by h. So these things we have, again, we have described in Newton's backward interpolation video. Fine. So we got here, right? This is my y10. y10 is 100. As said that these questions are called as extrapolation question. But that comes under interpolation only. Okay. Now, the second question is what? The, que the second question is just the application of the same method. The question says that the population of a town is given by the table. Fine. So year 1951, the table starts and ends at 1991. Okay. And the population in thousands, this is given. So using Newton's forward and Newton's backward interpolation formula, 
calculate the increase in the population from the year 1955 to 1985 see the question is straightforward the same thing what we have done just now but this is they have just made it in some application form so what we have to do we are going to see what is the increase in the population from 1955 to 1985 but we are seeing that 1955 is missing 1985 is missing fine no fine so what we will be doing so we have to use newton's forward interpolation formula to get y at 1955 we are going to estimate the value at y 1955 and for that we are going to use newton's forward interpolation formula because this is near to your x not and then we will be finding out that what is y 1985 the question basically they are asking what is y 1955 what is y 1985 so to get 1985 we are going to use newton's backward interpolation formula because this is near to your xn fine and then you have to get that what is the increase that means whatever value you will be getting here and whatever value you are going to get here so these two values you are going to subtract you will get the increase in the population fine so this is the this is the finite difference table to get 1955 we have made the newton's forward interpolation uh, table fine we are actually interested in these values so we got to put in the newton's forward interpolation formula okay so we have got here we got the value of r and then finally this is your y 1955 you got fine so i hope that this method is now very clear to you people because in many classes we are following the same method and again this is 1985 if we are finding out y 1985 so what changes we have to make we have to do the we have to find the newton's backward interpolation formula and few changes will be there in this formula fine no and then you are going to get the value of r even some changes are here also and then you are finally going to get that what is your 1985 okay y at 1985 you got here fine and then the increase in population from the year 1995 to 1985 is what the value what you have got here is 84.3 and the value what you had got in your y 1955 was 27.89 fine so you have subtracted these two things and this is in thousand so don't forget to use this unit thousand also because the question also said that the values are in thousands so these questions actually complete your all questions based on newton's forward and newton's backward interpolation formula fine so if you find this class useful please like and subscribe my channel thank you